Today, I'm going to talk about how to make a vision board for your business, and I'm going to do it digitally with the program Canva. I'm Morgan, and I'm a bookkeeper from finepoints.biz, and my goal is to help you guys get organized in your small businesses. And today, I'm doing a collaboration on this vision board video with my friend Gabe Cox. Her channel's called Red Hot Mindset, and it's really inspirational to me. So she was a runner and then she got injured, and so she talks a lot about how she was able to get past that and uses a lot of interesting like running metaphors and quotes in her videos. Her motto is that you can run your best race and live your best life, and she talks all about mindset and goal setting. So two things that I really love. Her vision board today is gonna be more the traditional kind with um, you know a literal, tactile vision board and mine is going to be a digital option. So after you watch this, definitely go check out her channel and subscribe if you love her content. So I've done vision boards before, um, more for my personal goals, but this wasn't the first time doing it for my business goals. I do always set business goals, but I hadn't actually ever picked out the visual images to go along, go along with my goals and, you know, put them into a vision board that I'm able to look at every day. So as I do this, I'm going to show you my computer screen and then I'm going to talk about each of the images I picked and how they relate to my goals. So the first thing I did was I took my kind of five year plan and I thought from that about I wanted I knew I wanted to do a three by three vision board. So I thought about the nine main things that, you know, I wanted to portray. You know, there was financial goals, there was business goals. And then I also try to think about like my whys. So why do I want to make this much money? What do I want my life to look like? Um, what do I want to get with that money? Or how many days do I want to work? And how much family time do I want to have? How do I want to serve my community and serve other people? So I also tried to think about the broader picture as well. Okay, so here's kind of an abbreviated version of my goals. And then I made a list here of the nine pictures that I want to represent. But then I just went to canva.com right here and I went to photo collage and I already had it in my mind that I wanted to do a three by three collage. You can see right here there's all these different options. You can be super creative and you can change the background and all these things. So these are just the pictures that are in there. And then you go to uploads and I already uploaded my pictures. And All right, and then I kind of wanted to organize it. Um, I knew at the bottom row I want my family, more like family values thing. So I need something to represent, um, like I want to work not too many hours a week. So that is the planner. And then I have a picture of my family because I feel like it is really to prioritize my, f my friends and family and spending time with them as well as using my skills in business. So if I want to move an image, I can just, um, you double click on, click on it to select it, and then I can go up or down depending on what I need. And then the last one here was this vacation house, because one of our goals is to make a river house. So this isn't the exact one, but just something to represent that dream of ours. I'm gonna center it, maybe zoom in a little bit. That is kind of the feel I'm going for. So these are kind of my whys. And then this row, the middle row, so I wanted the very center and just highlighted that and deleted it because that was what was in the existing template, but I don't want words in mine, which you can definitely add words if um, that's the look you're going for, but I just wanted to stick to images. So this one represents giving. So I really want philanthropy to be a part of my business. I'm not sure exactly yet um, how that's going to look but that represents giving and then I want to be helping out oops so I accidentally moved the whole thing so I'm just going to control Z to stop that so I'm going to double click on the image that I want and then this represents um, a network of bookkeepers so I really want to be like a mentor to bookkeepers and um, yeah just have that network um, to help out people who are just starting out and so this one is supposed to represent service to customers or clients in bookkeeping. So I don't know if I'm loving that image. I'm gonna finish the whole thing and then come back and look at that because it doesn't really quite go with the rest of the vibe that I have going here. All right, and then the top row is more like the basics. So this is my financial goal. So I have a specific um, dollar amount that I'm kind of interested in. That's a goal of mine. All right, and then YouTube. So this, I have goals for YouTube and how I'm using that to market my business and then 
again possibly teaching some online classes for bookkeepers or for people wanting to do their own bookkeeping oh yeah so having employees so for that I want to this kind of represents only having things in my business that I love doing and then delegating the rest just looking at this again I'm liking how it looks pretty much I like the white background um, I think I'm gonna switch out this image because I had another one I actually preferred to kind of so this is again to represent my shorter work week I don't know just I love the vibe of this office so I really am inspired by this image for serving my clients this one isn't quite as clear to me but in terms of the vision board I just I feel like it goes with the overall vibe because I that big blue square I wasn't loving so just shaking hands with the client doing good work for clients so this is my completed vision board I'm pretty happy with it again I'm trying not to do everything perfectly so I don't have to spend hours and hours on this this is just to inspire me and remind me of my goals so then I can just go to download and you can do it in different um, sizes and stuff usually I just do the suggested and download it so here is my completed design I'm really happy with how it turned out and just being able to have that visual representation of my goals so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this actually as the background of my computer so every time I turn on my desktop that it shows there and then I may end up printing it out I don't know and hanging it somewhere in my house where I'll see it and I got all my images from this website pick a bay you can just type in anything and it'll show you a bunch of different options for images and these it says they're all royalty free and you can use them for commercial use thanks guys for sticking around while i showed you my vision board i hope that inspires you to make your own version either on canva or somewhere else and don't forget to check out red hot mindset this video with gabe and i know you'll love what she has for you don't forget to subscribe to my channel i would love it if you guys stuck around for my next video i make a lot of organizing and bookkeeping videos let me know in the comments on a scale of one to five how likely you are to make a vision board. One, no, you'd never do it, and five, you're super gung-ho about the whole vision board thing.